Howdy, y'all. It is a Georgia football game week. I don't even know if we need to say anything else, guys, but we will. I'm Wes Blankenship, Jake Rowe, Rusty Mansell. Let's talk about Lab McConkey. Gotten a lot of questions about that guy, and it uh, seems like <laughs> you might need to put him on some bubble wrap, man. Just make him the bubble boy from Seinfeld. Lad's going to be fine, man. Uh, you know, I mean, he may get hurt down the line, but I don't think what he's got going on right now is going to hurt him, you know, too bad. Uh, you know, like we, Rusty kind of got it out there. I think he was the first guy to say anything about it. Um, once we didn't see Lad at practice, he said, you know, listen, if you know, I'm hearing that Georgia played this week, Lad would go. Um, and then, you know, did some checking on it, found out he's got like some soreness, some tightness in his back. It's been a grueling camp, man. I mean, they've they've gotten after it. And, and they, you know, Georgia's banged up going into the season, but, you know, because of it. Um, you know, because because not necessarily because of the contact and physicality, but how hard they've worked. I mean, apparently, you know, everybody I've talked to this scene practice has meant, heard Kirby Smart mention the word conditioning um, or, or getting in shape probably, you know, a dozen times per practice. I mean, it's been pretty, pretty prevalent there. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not what you want to hear. It's, you know, you, you'd love for everybody just to be 100 percent. But uh you know, when you're when you're going into a season, if you want to prep to to win a third straight title, you better put in the work. And if you put in the work, some guys are going to get dinged up. Yeah, I don't think uh, <clears throat> I don't think Kirby Smart's going to change the way he coaches. I mean, whether you're uh, you know back to back champs or not champs, I mean that's just that's just the way he's that's the way he's wired. That's the way he knows to be successful. And I go back to to Tate Rallage on his podcast again. You know, Tate Rallage says, "Look, I tell recruits, man, if you you're coming to Georgia to chill, this this ain't the place for you. You know, we're going to practice, we're going to work hard, um, we're going to win a lot of games, but it's going to be physical around here. And you're going to work. This is not a place to come hang out and kind of have fun, uh, as he said. So that's that's the mentality, and I think that's why Georgia, um, you know, winning back to back national champions championships, people understand that." This is the way it's going to be at Georgia, and those underclassmen, you know, the freshmen and those guys are are seeing what it takes because those upperclassmen can tell them right now this is what's about to happen in camp. Rusty, I want to go back to something you said um, uh, months ago, and it was the whole idea that let's go to the NFL here real quick. Training camp is as physical as it gets, and it's still not that physical. Um, you know, for some people it is for at times, but in the NFL – the contact is down. It's collectively bargained out of the game. So if you want a physical football player, you better go draft it, okay? You're not going to develop that into a guy at that age. You better go get a guy that can do that. Well, Kirby Smart knows that in order to get great football players into his program, he needs to put them in the NFL. And in order to put them in the NFL and give them that extra edge on how to get into the NFL, you practice them hard, you practice the physicality, you teach them how to work, all of those things. And those things get guys drafted – half a round to a round higher maybe in some instances. This is all for the benefit of the program. And I know there are folks out there that are like, man, enough's enough. We got to do this. We got to do that. You know, back off. Hey, it's it, it's there are times when when your weaknesses are your strengths to an extreme. And and this is one of those things that this preseason that as hard as Georgia works and as, as physical as they are and as much as they demand of their players, sometimes those players are going to get dinged up. The good news for Georgia is, though, is that one of those injuries, just one right now, um, it has been has been considered kind of a a, um, a season ender, a season you know a, a significant one. That's not you know that's that's a good thing at this point because all and it was non contact, right? Exactly, hundred percent, Wes. That's a good point. And non contact on a guy that was probably limited to begin with, with a foot injury. Um, you know, so ultimately you got these bumps and bruises, but these guys are going to come back. And honestly, shoot, man, who's to say they won't have a little more tread on the tires? I know this. Uh, when Kendall Milton was running the ball against Ohio State last year in game 14, it like he had a little juice. You know, it looked like, it looked like a guy that had maybe missed some time and, 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 and got a little, you know, was able to kind of keep a little bit more tread on the tires than, than maybe, you know, you would have expected you know, expected for a back in game 14. Yeah, definitely. Branson Robinson, I know he's not playing, but when he came in against TCU, they had to be thinking, what in the hell is going on? Like, what, who, is, you know, who can you get the license play on this dude? You know what I mean? Like, what is this thing coming off the sideline this late in the game? Um, I'll say this real quick. Um, I was very, very lucky and very, very fortunate to probably four or five years ago, 
uh, I got to sit with the head scout of an NFL team and I had questions for him and I wanted to ask him how they evaluate things. And one of the things that he said I will not forget is about offensive linemen and how the NFL is having problems finding people that can come off of the ball. Not just run, not just pass blockers, somebody that can just mirror somebody. Obviously, that's very valuable, but it's still the NFL. And you still got to find people that are physical, that can move people, that can run, you know, just reestablish a line of scrimmage. And if you think about the amount of college teams, they could, honestly, they're doing what's best for them because if you can't find those bodies, you got to throw the ball around all over. But he didn't specifically mention Georgia, but I can assure you the practices that Georgia has. Uh, offensively and defensively, but you know specifically when you start talking about offensive linemen, look at the kids that's been drafted from Georgia. Maybe they think, listen, these guys are, this is what we need. But um, you know, the one thing I'll tell you is, when we start talking about those physical practices. I'm sure there's some schools that probably try to use that against Georgia, but they can combat that real easy and probably show all kind of information and packets and, you know, testimonials from, from scouts going, you know, we're going to take a long look at you at Georgia because we know uh, we're getting a physical product that knows how to push himself. And those physical practices make sure that those NFL logos shows up out there on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every week. 